Oh, it was Holocaust Memorial Day today. It was also the 69th anniversary of the liberation of the inmates of Auschwitz. Many of those who'd survived the Nazis' unspeakable brutalism have since succumbed to old age. But not so Anita Lasker Walfisch. She was a youthful member of the Auschwitz Orchestra, in which she played the cello. You arrive in Auschwitz, then you are taken to a block, a special block, where people shave your hair and tattoo a number on your arm, and this is all done by prisoners themselves. So I have a conversation with this girl who was um, processing me. And of course she asked me, so, so what did you do before? What did you do before you were arrested? And I said, I used to play the cello. Then I said, you play the cello? Fantastic, you'll be saved. By that time I was naked, without hair, with a number on my arm, not a very pretty sight. But I can say, I think without hesitation, that it saved my life. Music can't be destroyed, you know. The Germans have destroyed so much, but music you know, is, is indestructible. Dr. Mengele wanted to hear the Träumerei by Schumann, which I happened to be playing. His job was to go to the uh, uh, trains when they arrive and look for twins and take them to his laboratory and experiment on these twins till they were dead. So a man who did that knew about Schumann. This is the big mystery about these top Nazis. How is it possible that totally normal and so-called educated men can sink to such a level? So uh, when people ask me how do I feel about it, I don't feel anything about it other than think about how obscene such a situation is. It did not spoil Schumann or the Träumerei for me. We leave you tonight on Holocaust Memorial Day with Anita's son, the internationally renowned cellist Raphael Walfisch, along with his own son, Simon, playing Jewish song by Ernst Bloch. Good night. Mm -hmm.